2017 3 c 2 a Men's Volleyball Championship on SoCalCollegeSports.com. Tune in at 7 o'clock. It'll be OCC, the top team in the state, taking on the number seven seed, El Camino, the Warriors, Cinderella run. Will it continue here on Championship Saturday? Stay tuned and find out.
It's Championship Saturday here on SoCalCollegeSports.com. It's a 2017 3C2A Men's Volleyball Final. El Camino, the top seed in the state, Orange Coast College. Mike Zapata, Lance Walker, just joined off with you on tonight's coverage. Happy you've joined us, everybody. We should have a barn burner in the making. A little bit of David versus Goliath, but David has a bazooka that they brought to the house. Cesar Medina. Yeah, Cesar Medina is going to be definitely the guy to watch tonight. Uh, he's been here before, um, you know, two years ago, and I think it's just going to be a really exciting night for him. I, I can't wait to see what he brings to the table off of the jump serve, off his passing, off of them running him out of the middle or running him on the outside. I mean, the guy brings a lot of stuff. Uh, and, and also the other great players that are going to be for um, Elko that, that also, have, um, you know, for the middle attack, their opposites. I mean, everything's going to be uh, coming together, hopefully, for them. And then again, uh, on the uh, OCC side, I mean, great consistent volleyball from those guys as well throughout the season, and uh, hopefully they bring that tonight. A little bit of a different type of team in Orange Coast, not led so much by one guy, uh, the attack led by the likes of uh, Justin Cam, Jordan Hoppy, uh, Matt Uchik. Uh, so Travis Turner has got a few ways that he can go a little bit more versatility uh, in his arsenal offensively, but uh, in the end, I think for Orange Coast, Someone needs to step up. This is always the danger in any sport when you have a team with a lot of guys who contribute. In key moments, who's going to be the guy to take over? And that'll be interesting to watch here for Orange Coast tonight, see if one guy can step up and take him home. There was a bit of an X factor on Thursday versus Long Beach City for El Camino. That was Jaden Misa Alifu. I hope I'm saying that right. He was fantastic on Thursday. I think he was the guy that really separated, the, the guy that really came to battle that Long Beach really didn't account for and it hurt him. It was great because he, he brought it on the net, but he also brought it with his serve, which I thought was great. Um, and, and that is definitely a huge weapon that we're going to be looking at today. Uh, I, I think really with the jump serving today from both teams, they both have some good jump servers. They also got some good float servers, how they're going to weather with the pass and, and how they're going to be able to get their offense going. Uh, a big thing, uh, which I think is going to be huge for Elko, is getting the middles involved. SMC had a really good uh, middle attack um, against OCC, and, and, if, and I think if Elko can, can utilize 
minimize that a little bit, take a little bit of pressure off of Caesar. Um, you know, uh, that's also going to be huge, huge factor for them in the success tonight. Um, both of these teams will run the bick out of the back row, which I also think is something that's uh, that we need to look at. Um, I think OCC runs it a little bit more in transition, um, but they will run it with Caesar when he's back row. Um, but they also, I, I think, um, uh, Elko has a great D ball threat as well. Um, you know, with uh, with uh, PJ, um, and he was doing a great job for them in the last game. So I, I, I think this is going to be uh, a lot of firepower off the serve, a lot of firepower on the net. Uh, it's going to be a great game tonight. Obviously, both teams' objectives will be to get the other one out of the system, but really Orange Coast College and their jump serving ability really do, do a good job of getting opposing teams on their heels, getting them out of system and what they want to do. But Cesar Medina seems to be one of those players that is able to adjust regardless of what system he's playing in. In system, out of system, uh, he has every shot in the book, and he can make it pay in a lot of ways. Yeah, he, he's a pretty incredible guy, and I think that's what's huge uh, right now. When we're looking at the games and what, what makes teams successful right now in the game of volleyball, you have the, the serve, uh, the side out, um, and then you also have the area four attack. The area four attack, that left side of the net, about 70% to 80% of the balls are going to get set. set. That's really the outlet set. So, again, who's out there? The best hitters are out there and that's what's the exciting part about this game both of these teams have great hitters there they're going to get their reps who's going to get who's going to be the guy who's going to put the team on the back and put those balls away when they need them about to get underway here socal college sports.com's continuing coverage of the 3c2a 2017 men's volleyball championship live here from la pierce college stay tuned awesome
About to get underway here, championship Saturday here on SoCal College Sports.com. The men's volleyball 2017 final. They have Jess Stoinoff on the floor, and we go to him nice. right now. Stoy, what do you got for us? Guys, talking to both coaches pregame, and both coaches quick to talk about the previous meeting this season between the two teams won by Orange Coast. Coach Dick Blunt said, hey, we're not the same team that we were earlier this year, missing a couple of players on that team, a couple of key players for that first meeting. And he says, hey, we're ready this time. For Orange Coast, Travis Turner, echoes the same sentiment not the same team that we played they've gotten a lot better in the middle attack and they've gotten a few guys back he feels that these are the two best teams in the state that are playing each other for the championship back to you guys thanks jeffrey mike cepeda lance walker they call him skywalker so uh, it's actually just lance walker so uh, <laughs> So here we go. Um, this is going to be a great matchup here. Um, I think um, you're looking right now at OCC, uh, typically running a 6-2, but they're starting with their setter front row right now. Elko in the dark, in the whites. It's OCC. That set off the mark, sent over by Hoppy. Here we go, Elko. Back set, Tuli Kihihifo has it blocked over, and the first point will go to OCC. There we go, right there, right there, Dave Nystrom, right there, our up ref. He is swallowing his whistle. He is telling that right now <laughs> to Dick Blunt. He says, hey, I'm going to let these players play the game. That's the first play. Here we go. I like it. I do, too. I think these players need to play the game of volleyball. Zane Moodhart will serve it up here for the Pirates. Set the table here for you shortly. The lineup, Cesar Medina with a dink, looking for the donut. Pancaked off the floor. And no. Look, Got a double call right there. So, yeah, Dave's going to call that one right there. Maybe a little bit of a double contact. Uh, double contact is when that ball doesn't come out clean. It's got a little funny rotation on yeah. it. Uh, usually when a middle sets the ball, it, it's it's going <laughs> to be called. If a setter setting it, there's a little bit more of a you know a little bit more of a leeway there. Free ball coming here for Elko. Can they capitalize? Near side, Medina off the block. Elko with their first lead. Set the table here for you shortly for Elko in the dark. Number two, Christopher Fangam. Number six, Jaden Misa Lefua. Number seven, Cesar Medina. Number 14, Victor Villarreal. Number 11, Pedro Campos. Number 12, PJ Tulikihihifo. And number 18, Jason Carroll. Say that one 10 times fast, man. <laughs> Good luck, I know, right? I, I liked right there. Um, these hitters are starting to warm up. They're hitting the court here. I also like what Caesar did. After that tip, he went up there and he went to his cannon. And I think he's going to have to rely on that a little bit more. We're not going to win championships tipping today. We're going to win championships swinging today. Two all, Hoppy with a jump serve, and that's a tough one. Battle at the net, a joust ball, and it's basically won by Elko. Medina has that one blocked over. Check that. Coach, what was the call? Uh, look, I'm not sure actually what that call was. I think he called the back row right there on the setter. I think that might have been a back row attack there on the setter. Actually, it was a back row attack. So, so the setter's back row, he's not allowed to touch a ball above, above the plane the of the net, and that's what happened there, and David, that was a great call. They set Medina in the middle looking for the dink. He's going to get another one. That's great. You know, Medina, he loves his power going wrist away. He likes going to that right side. He's going to hit as hard as he can. If that's taken away, he's going to go to that tip. And uh, and it looks like OCC, they're ready for that. And talking to Travis, Travis says, hey, you know, we're not going to stop Caesar today, but we do need to touch as many of those balls as we can and get them up and slow him down. And um, we're going to see if that works with him today. Tuliki Hihifo serving. It's a good one, but handled well. Big swing. That's going to be a point. Matt Uchik. That's on the 4-4 Orange Coast to start, it was Zane Moodhart, Matt Ujic, who we just mentioned, Chase Moodhart, Jordan Hoppy, OEC MVP of the conference, number 20, J.B. Cam, number 22, Austin Marriott, and number four, 24, Bradley Hankins. And that's going to be a big rotation for them to get out of P.J.'s uh, jumper right there. We don't want him hating up. Medina goes line. He caught Moodhart sleeping a little bit. This might be a free ball situation. Indeed it will be. Can Elko capitalize? Near side, and no, they cannot. Misa Lefua, a little bit off the mark, and I think that's just miscommunication between him and Pedro Campos. A little bit. You know, Pedro runs, I really like Pedro's offense. Uh, I liked what he did in the last game in the Final Four. You know, he's going to warm up as a setter as well. Um, I think I just a little bit of misfire right there. That one a little bit off the mark. That's a great save. 
Jaden gets it over, battle at the net, and he's going to put it down. So Jaden Misa Lefou, we talked about him in the in the pregame about a, being a bit of an X factor, showing why right there. He is, you know, he's he's doing some good stuff on the net right there. You know, as a player, you want to dig that ball off the net. Anything that's over the net, you're giving that that uh, other team an opportunity to put that ball down. And uh, here we go. Let's see a good toss here by Caesar. I think Medina goes right after Cam here. There's a shot. No, oh, Hoppy. That's a great pass. Big block in the middle, but Misa Lefua can't curtail it from going out off of the block. Point OCC, they lead it by 2-6-4. Once again, great side out by OCC, the two top jump servers. You got PJ and also Cesar Medina right there. First ball side outs, those are huge rotations. Now let's see if they can capitalize with their big, their big guns back row. Good pass from Medina. Near side, here comes Fangam. Rifle shot, can they save it? They cannot, 6-5. Fangam, Fangam's doing work. I mean, he did work in the last game as well. He has got, he, he kind of just hangs in the air there. He's waiting for the block to come down, and he's hitting a really nice high shot yeah. deep into the court, high hands. Um, I, I'm expecting a big game for him as well, especially in those rotations where PJ and Caesar are back row. Look for a good serve here from Jaden, that, that nice little jump float knuckler. Outside, big swing, not put down. Misa Lafua, that's a double tap. Yep, there's that middle again right there, right? So that's tough. I, I thought he was, uh, he, he made the right play. He tried to get underneath that. Hey, he just came out a little bit funny. You know, Dick's like, hey, you're still doing a great job. Keep going, buddy. Looking for a good pass here. See if they can get Isaiah. I love it when Isaiah kills this ball because he throws the muscle flex out. Jump float, that's a tough one to deal with. Near side, Fangam again, goes angle, that one dug out. Pretty good job there from Orange Coast. Hoppy looking for the top of the tape, and he gets just that. Doesn't go over, it's a four tap. That was a tough one for Hoppy. You know, um, kind of a fast play. You know, as a hitter, you want to transition, and uh, volleyball is a forward game. So as a hitter, you want to keep that ball in front of you. I think if you would have got off the net just a little bit farther right there, that ball would have been in front of him. He wouldn't have to really worry about saving that one there. There's the big. There's that big attack right there. So Plum Cam. That, uh, that back row attack, so that white line right there, that 10 foot line, three meter line, um, that's a valuable weapon right now that OCC is gonna like to use. And it's also something that we're gonna see from Elko when Caesar's back row. Uh, they really like to use that, it's a fast set. Uh, usually that hitter's one on one. The lead is out to do for the Pirates. Back set, tight on the net. Fangam, no chance into the double block and Hoppy gets on top of that one. Good challenge right there, Hoppy was right there, took that angle and he was pressed and low and over. Real nice right there. And that's just, that's a tough set to deal with. You're really in no man's land. That's not easy as a right-handed hitter also. No, not at all. That's a tough ball. That's a Ooh. big serve near side Chase. from the libero, Chase Moodhart. Big serve, you know, Chase last game, he was mixing up a little bit of float, throwing in a couple, uh, couple of jumpers. He is going for it right now. And I think Dick's starting to look, he's like, hey, do we need, uh, the, oh, Dick tried to get a timeout there. Nope, didn't, yep, didn't get it in time. Not going to get it. Oh, you that know what? going to be out. Hey, uh, the volleyball gods actually shined on him right there. <laughs> they said, hey, you know what, Dick, yeah, actually didn't need to burn that time out. Didn't need to burn the time out. We'll get the sign out for you No, he didn't. Maybe that's the uh, little, little blessing of the Sten Canley court there for him. All right. <laughs> so a pretty good ratio there for Chase Moodhart. Moodhart signed next season with Ohio State. D1 talent, that one might have been out right there. Hanging in the air, and Medina unable to react fast enough to contain that from going out of bounds back to a four-point advantage. Kid, I think we're getting some really nice touches right here on the block. Uh, again, you're looking at Travis running that 6-2 offense, and what that is is what he has is he's got his setter back row. He's got three hitters front row. So basically the 6-2s, you've got six hitters, and you've got two setters. Uh, you got Elko over there running the 5-1. That's one setter, five hitters. And those are the two types of offenses that you're seeing. So that's why you see a lot of substitutions going in. Caesar oh, yeah. Medina with the rocket shot. Oh, yeah. Huge hit right there. Huge hit right there. And the double's there, and he finds the window. Yeah, it's there. But, and you know what? Um, Travis right now is telling his blockers, hey, you've got to take away that shot. That is his <laughs> favorite shot right there. <laughs> you know, great players just seem to find a way. In the middle, that all the result of a great pass, and that is Austin Marriott with a kill. 
Yeah, that's a really nice play by Austin because Austin, after Medina went up there and hit it right by him, he turned to his team and said, hey, guys, that's my bad. I know that's my zone that I need to block. I got uh, this one. Yeah, exactly. So that was really nice that he was able to put that away right there. Hoppy with a big jump serve. Great pass from Fangam. Back set. Here comes Tuli. Key nice he oh! by PJ right there. That's huge, especially with Hoppy serve. And Hoppy's kind of like their Medina right there. They do not want to get him on a run. Um, they want to side out on those first ball side outs right there. Great set, great put away right there by PJ. Nice job. Cuts it to a three-point lead for Orange Coast. It's Orange Coast and El Camino, the 2017 Volleyball Championship for the men here on SoCalCollegeSports.com. Uchik can't put that one down. Campos near side. Medina rises up off of the block. Hoppy saves it. Great Orange save. Empire Conference MVP. That's wow. out. Woo. Ujic tried to go line there, and it looked like a little bit of a miss hit. Yeah, right there. You know what? Jordan Hoppy back there, he actually used the fist. Uh, that's a ball that goes off the block. It's going behind your head. He got that fist up there, popped it up nice, and, and saved that play right there. Uh, good swing, uh, but a little bit out. And uh, I like I like Caesar. Hey, you got to hit as hard as you can. Elko chipping away here. It's down to a two-point advantage for Orange Coast. Outside, JB Cam looking for the 10-foot shot right in front of PJ. That's a big line shot right there. That's just big time right there. Yeah, Pedro just didn't get out there, and he had that clear line of sight, and he just put that ball on the floor. JB Cam played basketball and volleyball at Cal Lutheran last year. He's com committed to UC Irvine next season. Big time athlete. Medina gets that one over. It's dug out. Back set. They go right back to JB. JB into the block and down on the Elko side. Back to a four-point advantage for the Pirates. That play right there, that started with the serve with Matthew. Matthew put that serve in nice and short. That ball dropped right in front of Caesar. Caesar had to go up and take a step kind of out of his rhythm there. Uh, got the set, put the ball in, and they were able to capitalize on that counter attack. That, that's a huge play right there, and I think this is a good timeout uh, for uh, for Coach Blunt. Uh, say, hey guys, here we go. Um, these are some things that are happening. Uh, these are these are some things that we're seeing right now, and um, and you know it's all about the serve, and uh, and I think uh, I think this is going to turn out to be a pretty nice first set right now. 14 to 10, set one here, the men's volleyball championship here in 2017 for the 3C2A. SoCalCollegeSports.com, the entire crew plus a couple extra. We do. We've got uh, right now. We've got uh, Dave Nystrom. He's up on as our R1. Uh, we got James uh, over on the uh, on on the line. They both these guys are veterans to the Brahma Dome here. Uh, they've been calling <laughs> a lot of games here. Uh, and again, we, we've got some great great refs here tonight. Let's see if Elkham can respond out of the timeout. And this is going to be a net violation, looks like. Again, out Travis talking to Travis. Travis knows that a little bit a little bit a little aggressive right there with the block. Uh, they know that Caesar's going to get his kills. He's hoping right now that he can just touch a few, uh, slow him down. Um, hey, move on, next play here, guys. You slow him down, and then that negates a little bit of everybody else and gives you that edge. Little Not bit. that OCC needs it. I mean, they're absolutely loaded. The likes of Cam, Hoppy. Oh, what a huge serve. serve from Medina. Free ball opportunity right here. Let's see how they capitalize on this. Going to the middle. Quick one in the middle. Blocked back over. That's a great dig out. Fangam hits the nice hard job. one. Nice job. You know what I love about Elko. Elko is really good at swinging high into the block right there. Right there, Jane goes up. He's got two up. He hits high hands. Those high hands result in a block that comes back that his teammates can cover. Boom, they can go to Fangam. He gets him out of, out of position, puts that ball away. Coach, Great how, plus one. How about the libero, Jason Carroll, keeping that one alive? That could have easily been a point for OCC and now we yes. go right back to Medina. I would expect a timeout right now from Travis. Don't let this guy heat up and yes, there is a timeout coming here. Good yeah. call here, Coach. Huge, 14, huge call. 13, El Camino closing the back, the gap here in set number one. We'll take a short timeout. We'll have Jeff Stoyan off on the floor in just a little bit here on ZoCalCollegeSports.com. Here we go, Mike. Most players out of a timeout are going to roll shot a ball in. But this is Cesar Medina. I think a good toss. I think he's going for it. 
It's a good yep. one. He oh, goes yeah. for it. And that's a pretty good pass from Hoppy. It's not going to be on the net. Uchik gets enough on it. Carroll's going to bump set. Backside. Here's Fangam. Fam Fangam finds a high. Hands off of the block. We're tied up at 14-0. Huge rotation here. Huge rotation for them. Right now, Caesar's feeling it. He's doing a great job of hitting his serve and knocking OCC off the net. And what I mean is that OCC cannot use their middles. They have to go to a pin. There's a double block. They're getting a great touch, and they're able to transition points. Keep it on them, Caesar. Great serve. Outside, JB Cam oh, gets dug take. out by Medina. Campo sets up the big. Medina can't put it down. That's a great dig out of the backside by Hoppy Cam. Has that one dug out off of the apparatus and just a little bit of bad luck there for Coach Blount and the Warriors from Elko. Elko, great, great plus four right there by those guys. That was a huge rotation for them. One point game, uh, Caesar right there leading the charge again. Um, it looks like right now we got a little bit of a floor wipe. Uh, you know, and here's the, here's the fun thing about this, Mike. These are kind of mini timeouts here. As, as a player, and you're going to see this, especially in big games like this, momentum shifts, hey, a little bit of sweat on the tail. Hey, use this as a reset, players. Use this to find a way to set up. You know, maybe even right now uh, the server's holding the ball a little bit longer. Could end up being a missed serve. Uh, all these little things play into uh, in the tactical uh, the game of volleyball here. Caesar with a great pass. Sets up Fangam off of a touch. Fangam is doing work on that line. I mean, he was hitting a lot of angle and a high seam against, uh, um, against Santa Monica, or sorry, Long Beach, I apologize. Uh, but he's going after that line right now, Edge, and he's really mixing it up. He's doing a great job. Hey, Coach, this is shades of, of Thursday in the first semifinal versus Long Beach City. Long Beach got out to a bit of a lead, and then it was Elko who chipped back in. And then they were able to win set one and route to the sweep. That a big block, but not down. Free ball opportunity here. Let's see what Pedro does with his offense. Did Elko take the lead for the first time in a while. There's the donut. Now one put back over JB Cam. Man, Fangam, he is having a lot of success hitting. He went to the tip right there. Maybe a little timing off right there. He's saying, hey, my bad. Hey, Pedro, you know what? Keep setting me here, buddy, and uh, I'm going to keep swinging. I got a feeling he's going to go back to his hitter. Pedro's doing a great job of keeping his hitters alive. Hitter makes a hitting error. Hitter gets blocked. He goes right back to him. I expect him going outside. Hey, missed serve. They got great. bailed out there. He wants to have these guys focus. Say, hey, this is a green rotation for them. This is a rotation we got to grind out of. Let's make sure that we focus in. We don't need this pass to be perfect. We need it off the net, and let's just get a side out here. And let's see how uh, Chase goes here. Remember, we talked about Cesar Medina on a timeout. He'll go back there, and he'll go ahead, and if it's a good set, he's going to hit as hard as he can. Let's see right now if this coach's timeout off of Dick Blunt, if Chase goes up and he goes for it. I think he goes for it. A little more of an off speed right there. Bangam again. Great side out. Great side out. Bangam, great response out of timeout. And as a coach, that's what you want. You want to use those timeouts. You want to refocus those players. You want to say, hey, let's get this timeout out and let's move forward here. I got to tell you, he's probably batting over 500 here in set number one. Oh, he's doing great. 18-17, one-point lead for OCC, make it a two-point lead. After that one, ricochets off of the roof. Point goes to coast. Yeah, we do have a fun roof here, you know. And again, <laughs> um, at the international level, it hits the roof, it is out of play. But uh, anything is in play. The basketball hoops, as long as it doesn't hit that back wall, we can play everything in this gym. So, you know, and we've had a couple opportunities where it's gonna bat it's gonna rattle around a little bit, and we might play pinball up there sometimes. <laughs> Two point lead for coast. Near side, Medina with a roll shot. Hoppy, great adjustment. Big opportunity here. That's almost like a free ball, and Ujic puts it away. They're the first to 20. It's the top team in the state, Orange Coast. Big play right there. I think Travis also is going after, you know, Caesar on the block as well. He realizes that PJ front row, big opposite out there, um, and he wants to try to go after Caesar's block there, especially in transition. Storing off, what do you got? Guys, both coaches settling in for a long match here. Coach Travis Turner very happy with the way his team is serving, but he says, we've seen these guys before. We know they're going to hang around. Meanwhile, on the other side, Dick Blunt feels the team a little bit nervous right now. Some poor decisions early on, but expects them to settle down as we go. Thank the, you, guys. The big from Cam yet again. That's a second one in this set. That's been a huge tool here for OCC. There's that transition big right there, and I think Caesar he thought that was he was on the other side of, of the block. I think it was a good touch. Sometimes you got to play a little bit of a guessing game there. 
Welcome Zane Moodhart. He's the cousin of Chase. Chuliki Hihifo, that's a bit of a miss hit there. I think he was looking for the high hands. OCC caught on to it. And he take the hands away and goes past the back line. I, th I think that's kind of fun. Your, your first cousin, you guys are playing in a, ch a state championship match together. How cool <laughs> is that, right? It's pretty cool. Yeah. So Zane will go back at it. Pretty good pass from Carroll near side. They go to the big gun. Medina takes a little bit off of it. Perfect placement for the kill. Pedro, great set by him. You know, Pedro, I, I, again, what I love about him as a setter, he allows the hitter to do the work for him. He's going to put up a hittable ball for Caesar. Caesar, you hit your shot. Whatever you see, go for it. That was a great play. Carroll goes short. Tough set and an even more impressive kill from Jordan Hoppy, 23-18. Pretty, pretty incredible pass there. You usually don't want your middles passing that ball, but that was an absolute nail right there by Austin. Uh, and then he got up. Got Jaden to pop with him, which isolated the back set. Caesar one on one. Hoppy's gonna put that ball away all day. Hoppy, oh, uh, that's just a great, good luck bounce there from Medina. Really caught OCC off guard. And Coach Turner telling his crew, you gotta be ready for that. Yeah, that was just kind of an unlucky, uh, hey, the imperfect game of volleyball right there. <laughs> that's that's about as good as a jump serve as you're gonna see Jordan Hoppy. Yeah, as a jump serve, you're like, oh man, that's a point. That's, that's <laughs> one that gets away from you, 23 right. 19. That one into the twine, that'll set up set point here in set one for OCC. A little bit of a wash right there. And, I, and, I, and I, what I really love about these three rotations here, when you got Hoppy, then you got PJ, and then you got Cesar Medina, I mean, these are some huge jump servers that are coming in in four rotations here. And dueling service here is back to back. We'll get Elko to 20, but they still trail it by four. No Whoa. margin for error here. They need to go on a four-point run. Last time the, we were there. And, and the, <laughs> guy, the guy that you want at the service line right now, Cesar Medina, is right there. Funny you say that because the last time they were in this rotation, four-point run. Let's see what happens here. Nice serve, Cesar. That's a great pass from Hoppy. Cam looking for the donut, not going to get it. Blocked back over. Number, number one. Here we go. Let's go one point at a time right now. One point at a time. Coach, we might be here till midnight. I love it. Elko will try to chip away right here. Medina off of the tape, handled well by Hoppy. Back set, Ucic off of the block and down. Set one in the books, and it goes to OCC and the top team in state. We'll look to make it two in a row here in the Volleyball Championship for the Men 2017 3C2A edition. Don't go anywhere, folks.
set one of the books that goes to OCC. Jeff Stoinoff on the floor. Yes. Jeff, Let's what do you go got? In the corner, in the corner, in the corner. Crowd behind me. Jeff, go ahead. Guys, Dick Blunk, very succinct between games, talking to his team, said we got to attack better from the middle, get that middle attack going. Meanwhile, for Orange Coast College, for Travis Turner, very satisfied after set number one, serving and passing, going to be the key. He says we've scored well all season long. As long as we can continue to pass, we're going to be able to set up the offense. Let's take it back upstairs. Pretty on point there, Lance. Pretty much, uh, we, we talked about uh, some success that SMC had against OCC in the Final Four was with that middle attack. Right. And, um, and that's something that definitely um, Elko is gonna have to bring to the table. I think uh, Pedro, he had a, he had a mis, uh, miscommunication on uh, earlier on in the game, he, and it right. kind of stopped going to with it. With Jaden. Yeah, the, and the other thing really is, is that the, um, you know, the, the serving has been on point. I mean, Travis is doing a great job with his jump serves, going back there and blasting uh, and really taking that middle attack out um, out, out of the play for uh, for OCC. SoCalCollegeSports.com's live coverage of the 2017 3C2A Men's Volleyball Championship and right out of the gate here in set two, Cesar Medina with the kill. Great swing right there. And again, as a setter, hey, you go to your hot hand to start the match off. He's their hot hand all year. Let's get a side out right there. Advantage. So Carroll now serving here for Elko with a one-point lead as they struck first blood. Marriott with the kill. And OCC, they're actually moving their passing lanes up right now on some of these float serves, and they're being aggressive with their hands. Jordan Hoppy. I like Jordan Hobby's arsenal of, uh, of serves. He's got that kind of little roll shot off speeder in the middle of the court, and he also goes back there and he hits it. I think today, don't sacrifice accuracy for speed, buddy. You go up and hit it. Absolutely. It's two to one, Elko with a one point lead. Here comes Cam with a roll shot, and he goes with a donut and scores. Nice shot right there. Again, you can see OCC being aggressive with the hands, and I think this is something that Elko has to kind of look at. You know, when these guys start using their hands, you want to hit those seams a little bit harder, force it onto those platforms. Um, and, and, and so, you know, hopefully you can use that serve a little bit more as a weapon. Medina outside, a little bit of a stutter there, gets a pretty good swing on it. Here comes a bump set, here comes a big. That's an out of system big play, and that's a great job by Campos tracking the ball for the block. Great play right there. You know, again, you can see OCC sticking with the game plan. We're gonna overload Cesar Medina, serve him and make him hit out. Uh, I thought that was a great bump out of, uh, uh, to area six right there and a good hit. Medina, big serve, great pass great from Hoppy. Pass. That sets up the middle. And that's and it's a, huge, a kill for Bradley Hankins. Huge right there for Colby. Every time that they have Caesar or they got PJ back there and they hit a big jumper and they get a perfect pass, he goes to that middle. He loves that. It's a great play for him right there. Huge momentum builder for your team as well. Medina, a little bit off the mark with the pass. Uncharacteristic from him. And the big in full effect there. Here comes Jordan Hoppy. And there it is, and these are just the plays that we're gonna have to be careful of. You know, if, if you are Elko, uh, the big play is that you don't wanna give that other team a free ball because OCC is gonna take that and they're gonna cash their check, and they just did it right there. Short serve, Campos with the setter dump, not there. Here comes a swing, Carroll with a good pass. In system, back set, Tuliki Hihifo, dug out by Hoppy. Near side, JB Cam off the block but not down. There's Fangam, Campos. Here comes a big from There's Elko. Big. Off of the apparatus, OCC can't contain it. We're tied up at full. I love it. I love both these teams use the big. Uh, I think right there, that was also a big set right there. Uh, going to PJ using that D ball. I think we got to get him fired up a little bit more for Elko. I think Page has got to go to him a little bit more, especially in these rotations here. Big serve right now by Jaden. Emery Johnson on camera here tonight on one of our tracking shots. There's the big right back to it. That's a second kill out of that back row for Jordan Hoppy in set two. Great swing for Jordan Hoppy. Got hit the tape, kind of got a little lucky right there. Um, found that seam. Uh, I think they were ready for it. Next time out, 
Medina, pretty good pass. That one's out. Oh, Villarreal trying to go with a little bit of an angle outside of the middle. I think Isaiah got a little bit too tight right there and wasn't Vi able to really utilize that angle there. Victor Villarreal, I'm being told. He told me before the match. Oh, Victor, okay. So it's Victor Villarreal. So number nine is actually number 14. Gotcha. Or number gotcha. 14 is actually number nine on the sheet. Gotcha, okay. Sorry, hey. about, sorry about that, Victor. That's what we do. We pick each other up. Six to four, another big JB Cam, man. They are firing out of the back row. That big is sharp, and it is cutting Elko right now. And right now, you know, you don't expect them to keep going to the big, but the passes are so good, and a couple of times, OCC has been out of system, and they can still go to the big. Four times now, I, I count. Out of the seven points, they've gone to the big and they've scored with three of them. It's huge because what's happening is OCC is actually utilizing their middle, so they're getting the middles to pop with the middle, which is able to utilize that big and have a no, uh, basically nobody up. Fangam, who had a huge set one, gets blocked back over. Medina can't contain it. Eight to four, and OCC in turbo mode right now. they got a four-point lead early in set two. Let's take a break in the action ourselves. Don't go anywhere, folks. And remember, everybody, you can catch us on the go on YouTube by searching for our channel. YouTube, excuse me, you can search for us on YouTube, on our YouTube channel, SoCal College Sports 1, uh, to catch us on the go. You can catch us on an iPhone, an iPad, or, Mike, you can also catch us on your Xbox. Yeah, if you go to Xbox One or an Apple TV, if you have the YouTube app or any type of set-top box that is YouTube-enabled, go to our channel, SoCal College Sports 1, one word, and you can catch us on the big screen, upscale to 1080p. And I apologize if I lost you in terms of the technicalities of that. Eight to four is where you come out of the, the timeout for Elko. Campo sets up the middle, too tight on the set. And Victor Villarreal can't do much with it. He's blocked back over. That's Bradley Hankus. And that's tough. You know, as Pedro, I mean, he, he finally get a really good pass right there. And really passes, good pass. And pass has been an issue. And sometimes as a setter, hey, I want to go to my middle. And, uh, and now it's kind of a little bit of a chess match right now. Jump float, tough one from Cam, handled very well. Fangam swings in the block and gets roofed back over on the far side, Zane Mudhart. OCC is doing a real nice job right now of kind of stacking over to the right. They realize right now that Pedro hasn't gone back to that D ball, so they're du they're putting a one guy up right now on Victor. They're doubling up on Fangam and they're locking him in this rotation. And it's Elko getting stacked right now, down by six. Villarreal, not much he can do with that one, but reel back and get it over the net I'm outside of the top tape. Hoppy, Balls that's out. outside. Medina was looking to dig that one out, but I think he brought the hands away just at the last second. And indeed, the ball goes past the back line. It's a point for Elko, so that momentarily stops the bleeding. A little bit of the bullfighter Ole right there, and uh, <laughs> he pulled it away, and, uh, and it was long. So, hey, they got out of that rotation. They needed that. Campos now serving. Nice pass there from Hoppy. Back set. Moodhart gets through. Villarreal showing a little strength. That's what we're looking for, Victor. I mean, I've been missing that a little bit. He, he hasn't been working right there as you know, on, on the attack. Uh, now he's moving in and say, hey, you know what? I'm a middle blocker. I know where they're going right now. I'm going to go get my block. I'm going to go help my team the best way I can right now. So a little mini run here for Elko, a two-point run. The big again. Cam takes a little bit off of it. Oh, got and a net is... over here on OCC. Oh, Followed wow. through there, so that's huge. And a great pancake right there by Elko. Yeah, that would have been off the floor anyway. That was awesome. I love that. They didn't need it. The point goes to Elko. It's a three-point run. They've cut the lead to three after they trailed by as many as six here in set two. They drop set one. Looking to come back here. Hoppy off of the block. Tools that one nicely. This is big kind of in the tactical side of volleyball right now. You're opposite. So PJ being a big, huge uh, guy out there to try to stop their number one hitter, Hoppy. Uh, that, that's a nice little uh, matchup that we're going to want to look at today. And today, Hoppy found that edge right there on PJ. A good serve, even better pass. Back set, Fangam, big swing off of the block and in. And that block has really made a nice adjustment here, Lance, for OCC here in set two. Once again right here, Chase, this is a green rotation for OCC on the service lane. 
And this is uh, this matchup. I think we had the same matchup in uh, the last set as well. Great pass from Fangam outside. Tuli Kihihifo has that one blocked back over. Here comes a bump from Carroll. Medina is going to have to go deep. That's a fast free ball. Great play right Near there. Near side. Hoppy! Once again, once again, we talk about OCC. You get a free ball. Hey, thanks for that check. I'm going to take it to the bank. Yeah. They do it every single time. You cannot give them an easy ball. I really think Caesar did a nice job of playing that ball as tough over as they could. The middle once again played it, and Hoppy just ran again a good audible play inside, uh, beat Fangan, and just hit, and hit that ball right down onto the floor. Yeah, it's not even a check. It's nah. a direct deposit. 13-7 to seven to lead back out to six here for OCC. We'll be back in a moment here on SoCal College Sports. Thirteen to seven, the tsunami starting to build up here for OCC as Elko having trouble treading water here in set two. Carroll off of the chest. Fangam is going to bump set Medina out of the bick, and that's just a great swing. I mean, Sounds coach, edge. what do you do? Yeah. I, I mean, you have a team dead to rights, out of system. It's a bad pass from your libero, and then it's a bump set and a bick. I mean, can you even call that a big season? No, not really. With just, just, with just, just a great swing. Yeah, it's just, hey, Caesar, uh, can you bail us out? No problem, guys. I'm going to find that edge for you. Let's, I got you. Let, let me get you out of that. Oh, yeah, we're going to call that one. <laughs> that was, uh, yeah, that was a double. <laughs> double tap there? Oh, yeah. A little bit too much spin on that one. That's all right. <laughs> A good pass there from the libero, Moodhart. Big swing from Hoppy. And, and when you can pass like that, you're going to be one and done here for OCC. I think something right now Elko's looking at. You know, Elko traditionally, when those guys are up, they're serving and they're serving tough and serving hard. When they go down, they kind of keep it in a battle. I think you still have to keep the pressure on these float serves and really put it on the platform of OCC. OCC, I think, is just getting uh, some really easy serves here. They're able to use with their hand. OCC, on the other hand, is doing a really nice job of serving tough and overloading Caesar Medina, which you see right there. And Medina Again, gets blocked. Block back over. It's a big block there. It's a great adjustment up front by Uchik. Yeah, and, and, and Marriott. And Colby right now, he's gonna make Caesar work here. He's gonna, hey, I'm gonna serve you this ball. You gotta pass it. You gotta get outside. You gotta hit it. Uh, dual responsibility is not easy uh, in the game of volleyball here. Tuli Kihihifo, that's a great set from Fangan. Fantastic hit by PJ. That is a really tough hit to hit with a, as a right-handed hitter and having that ball travel across your body and also find a way to track that. Big play by PJ. Nice job, bud. Good pass there from Hoppy near side. Here's Uchik looking for the kill. He's going to have it off the block. Yeah, they're El Camino getting... just can't seem to close the gap here in set two. No, but you know what? Once again, all it takes is one or two of those rotations to lock in OCC, and I think they're just starting to second guess certain things here and there. Great pass from Carroll. Back set to Leaky. He, he falls Swing. straight down. Big, big set right there by Pedro. Got to get PJ going here. And, He's and, front row. And you got to give a little credit to Misa Lafua. Really selling that middle, going one-on-one yeah. -on -one with P.J. That's a tough assignment for a block one-on-one. -on -one. Marriott oh, dug out. Big play right there by P.J. Joust, Joust, Joust ball. ball. Love it. And it goes to Elko. Oh. They cut the lead to four. Now, here's something interesting. We call that the Joust ball. Now, if we were to play the percentages of the Joust, about 90% of a Joust balls will land inside the 10-foot line, just like you see right there. So, young players, when you're playing, that ball's up on the net. Get on up there, be ready to suck in, be ready for a touch, something like that. And uh, right now, Elko, let's see if we can get some momentum here. Medina's out. No touch, good swing. I think, I think Medina maybe jumped a little bit too much forward there 
I think he mistimed it just a little bit and caused that ball to sail long on him. He might have overran that a little bit. Yeah, a little it looked bit. like he did contact that ball behind his head, but that's all right. You know, Elko had some pretty good plays right there. They're starting to build some momentum. Oh, that helps also right there. Yeah, we'll take that to the bank every day of the week. Thank you very much. As a passer, I remember when I'm back there and I see a server serve a ball in the net, the first thing, it was a sigh of relief. Ah, it's it's much. it's better to go long than into the twine. That's Always, for sure. I yeah. mean, that's what that's what yes. I've been told anyway. Always I, I'm no volleyball long. expert. You want to miss long? I have called a lot of it though. Yeah. Caesar Medina now from the service line. Let's see if Elko can go on a run here and close the gap. They trail it by four in set two, set one. Went to OCC. Great serve. Even Great better pass. pass. Back set. Uchik blocked over off the block and out. It's a point for Coast. Right there, Colby. Right there, utilizing what he has already started to set up. Off of typically off of a good jump serve, he's been going to his middles right there. Switches it up, gets his hitter one on one on the backside, and able to get that side out. Doing a real nice job playing the chess match as a setter. Back to a five point advantage for the Pirates, Elko, and that's a little bit of miscommunication there. Tuliki Hijo and Misa Lefua, and that one's going to be in from Jordan Hoppy, going with a hard angle there, a tough angle out of the middle back. That's another great hit right there. I mean, at going for those bigs, you want to hit those corners. There's really no defenders right there. A little unfortunate right there, miscommunication. I think Jaden's like, hey, PJ, my bad. I know that's your ball. Medina, tough pass. There Misa Lefua. There we go. Good response there. That's a tough set from Campos. And that's tough as a middle blocker to read. You got a setter who's front row. Is that setter going to dump? We know that he's an attacking setter. Kind of goes up there. Pedro is able to draw him. You know, good to Jalen. Now Jalen is going back here to serve. Let's see if we can get some nice points off that floater. Jaden, pretty tough float serve. And that's just miscommunication between Misa Lefua and Cesar Medina in the back row. And that what, actually, what went wrong that, there here? Lance? Actually, that setup is fantastic right there. They just kind of, if they would have both gone for that ball, one of them would have got it. And they kind of looked at each other like, did you get it? Do you want to get it? No, man, <laughs> we both got to go for it. There were on uneven planes right there. You know, Jalen, if he misses it, hey, Caesar's got it. Um, yeah, they just got to make a play for that. Two missed serves right there. OCC kind of bailing them out a little bit, not so, keeping the pressure on. So the door is not shut yet here in set two. But Elko, in a world of hurt, OCC the first to 20, they trail it by five, does do the Warriors. Again, plus one rotations. We talk about take it one point at a time here. Want to get it, try to get a plus one. Hoppy, and that's we, out. And we got a plus one. Um, I don't know, ball's out. David was actually signaling to OCC. I think David made the wrong call. Yep, he corrected it. That's his fault. Yeah, yeah, the ball was out. He signaled the wrong way. That's okay. That's all right, David. We're good, we know. We'll get it right on the scoreboard. <laughs> Should be 20 to 16. Yeah. And again, we talked about those plus one rotations, right? So Pedro went there, hey, we've got a plus one. Cool, we keep doing that, we're good to go. You know, and if again, they can lock them in, they're gonna be fine right and now. And so if they can generate some momentum, they might not win here, here in set two. Still not over with, and that one's out. Ball's out again. So here, now we've got a side out plus two. That's a three-point switch. Travis might be looking at taking a time out here. He's Maybe one more here. Yeah, he's like, all right, guys, you got one more here. I, and I like that as a coach. Sometimes you got to have confidence in your team and Little say, hey, guys. Jackson. Yeah, you guys got this here. So Campos try to go plus three here on the serve. They set up the back row. Cam off the block. That's Tony a beauty. Cam right there. Again, Travis going, hey, you guys got this. And I like that. He's looking at his, his hitter, he's looking at his setter, just gave his setter a high five. He says, I got you, man. I'm not going to bail you out with a timeout. And here, I know you can get the job done with a side out. And here comes a tough serving Chase Moodhart. Up by four. Carroll with a pretty good pass there. Controlled. Medina Chase is gets it over. Chase on the serve today. Great ball Bump set. set. Hoppy too. goes oh, angle, but out. he's out. Just out. Chase, nice play, man. I mean, he's bringing it on the serve. Setter's out right there. Puts up a great bump set to his hitter. Try to let the hitter do the work. You know, Hobby went up for it. He hit, he hit it. Hey, it was out a little bit. I really like that. Keep going, guys. Nice play. Elko down by three. They set up Hoppy. Hoppy hits the hardwood. 22-18. Right now, setters are doing a real nice job of getting these middles to commit, getting one-on-one -on -one opportunities on the outside. You know, PJ's out there. He's getting hit line. They're hitting angle. Uh, right now, that you know, as a blocker, it's not where you want to be. Uh, you don't want to be in the hitter's pocket. So uh, nice job by the setters right now for uh, OCC doing some work. Back to a four-point lead for the Pirates. Back set. Tuliki Hihifo has that blocked out. 
to the point we'll go to Elko. I like that. I like Pedro. Pedro's doing a great job of going to his opposite in these couple rotations here. And, uh, and, and it's successful, especially when Caesar's passing the ball. You know, again, we talk about that dual responsibility. Outside, Hoppy off of the block. Carroll can't get there in time. Great read by Caesar. I thought he had some really nice eye work. He stopped short. He noticed that that ball was inside, got a good touch. Just didn't really go his way. Um, but uh, I, I thought that was a real nice positive move by Elko. Let's see if they can just get a side out now. It'll be tough on Jordan Hoppy serve. Big rocket shot, great pass from Medina. Back set, Tuli Kihifo. That's it, baby, go to PJ right there. I like that. Give your hitter the ball. He's now going back to serve with some confidence. Hit your serve, PJ. Got two big kills for your team right there. Let's see if we can build on this momentum. They set up Cam. Cam hits that one fat. There we go. We'll take it, another plus one. So we talk about these plus one opportunities. Travis is gonna now take a timeout. He's realizing this. Hey, you know, it's not one or two rotations here. You know, they're getting a couple plus ones and um, he's gonna hopefully maybe slow down the momentum a little bit. Guys, get a drink. Hey, hit, you know, we need to get two points right now. Take a deep breath, we're still in control of this game. 23-21 and Elko hanging around here. They could have easily went away. They trailed it by 5, 20 to 15, but they've gone a little bit of a mini run here. It's a 6 to 3 run. Remember what happened uh, when they were playing Long Beach? Remember when Long Beach started missing their serves? Just what we're seeing right now with OCC. They Shades missed about Thursday. three serves in a row, right? And what ends up happening? Elko starts to say, hey, guess what? You guys are going to miss your serves? We're going to put our serves in. We're going to get a couple plus ones out of this as well. And uh, we're still in this game. I like to see what PJ goes. If he's going to go back to the float, if he's going to go to the sir, uh, jump serve. Yep, goes to a nice float, gets him on their platform right there. Cam with the roll shot. Oh, great change up there from JB Cam. I think it's something to kind of look at as characteristics sometimes in timeouts. Coaches sometimes will say, hey, timeout, let's go ahead and tip. I don't, I don't think these guys are ready for it. And uh, kind of caught them off guard right there. Cam's been doing a great job of mixing it up too. So Marriott with a big serve. Bump set for Medina. Medina's gonna hit that one fat set two in the books and it goes to OCC. And the Pirates now one set away from a championship here. So, uh, so here we, uh, we're actually going to have a little bit of a longer break in time right now. Um, uh, during the state championships in between set two and in set three, uh, we, uh, we induct a, um, a couple people into the Hall of Fame. Um, we're going to be in inducting about three members into the Hall of Fame. And um, I don't know if we have a camera uh, down on the floor to, we, to get this mic. We do. We're going to have a camera down on the floor. We'll take a short break in the action here, everybody. Don't go anywhere. We'll have some Hall of, Hall of Fame induction ceremony uh, on camera and uh, with a mic on the floor as well. Stay tuned. SoCalCollegeSports.com's coverage of the 2017 3C2A Men's Volleyball Championship. Mike Spada, Lance Walker with you. Lance, who's this on the floor? So this is Randy Sapozny. Randy Sapozny uh, played here in 1987. He is the co-founder of the United States Youth Volleyball League. Um, I had the pleasure of working with Randy. Um, fantastic man. He is the grassroots of volleyball for us um, and just a, a wonderful man. Uh, if you have a kid who's the age of uh, basically 3 to 13, uh, you want them playing on the grass and you want them playing for the United States Youth Volleyball League. Also, we got United Pickett. She has been refing uh, and she's being inducted as a ref. 
Uh, she has been roughing, I, I believe, for 30 plus years. Um, and she's been softball, basketball, as well as volleyball. So once again, we are honoring her in the 3C2A as a wonderful ref and, uh, and, and all of her you know, matches and time that she has put into this wonderful it's, sport. It's tough to find a, a good ref, and she has certainly fit the bill in, in, in many cases. 100%, and it's, it's wonderful. I, I, got to, I got to talk to her. She was ecstatic. I know her family is here. Uh, she's got 10 grandchildren, I believe, here. Um, and it's just a, it's a wonderful, wonderful night for her. So once again, we really thank her. And then last we have uh, coming up, we have Kevin Barnett. I am sure you uh, recognize Kevin from. Oh, I, I, uh, I remember Kevin yep. quite a bit. He was uh, he was my color commentator for the championship last year. We were happy to have him. And if the name does sound familiar, everybody, he is the color commentator for the Olympics. All the volleyball coverage on NBC. That the the color commentary. It's Kevin Barnett. He does a fantastic job. And you can actually go back to our broadcast last year, Long Beach City College with a win over OCC. Uh, it, it was a very, very good broadcast. And it, it was just a pleasure to work with Kevin. He's very good at what he does. And, uh, you know, re really stepped up our game here in the booth. Yeah, he is amazing. Uh, he is a great uh, Brahma. He played here. Um, he also was a Wave um, and played internationally. Um, I, I also was uh, blessed to play with his brother as well, Keith. Uh, hopefully you're watching. Shout out to you, buddy. Uh, but a great family. Uh, got to also work with his kids at the Dunphy camps. And uh, right now he's, uh, he's doing a lot of stuff for, for the game of volleyball, uh, building the game. He's got the Net Live, which is uh, uh, a broadcast on online I believe every Monday he, uh, he uh, he's got that going and uh, he's it, he's just he is the voice of volleyball in my opinion right now and uh, Kevin I hope I'm doing you justice up here with the mic man because uh, you are the man when it comes to this it's, 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 it's definitely a tough act to follow but you're doing a fantastic job my <laughs> friend uh, it's, it's a pleasure to have you this year and uh, you know what? I, I got to tell you, I, I look forward to covering your team next year. Can you talk a little bit about your program coming in next year? A, a little bit. I, I think, um, you know, the Brahmas did a great job this year. We, we talked about this year about uh, being bridge builders, you know, about what are you doing this year to help the next Brahma come through. And, and we have an incredible group of uh, Brahmas this year that are moving on. I mean, we won our conference this year. Uh, I think every one of them got honors. Our setter was the MVP, uh, Bernardo Roes. And uh, we got three guys moving on, um, which is great. But I think which is even cooler is that we have guys who actually want to stick around um, and, and they want to continue to be a Brahma. And so uh, I think next year, you know, this is uh, this was a great season. We're hoping to build upon it. Uh, there's some also great things that are happening here at Pierce with the administration. Uh, I got to say, Eric Peters, our vice president, uh, he came up with this thing called the Pierce Promise. And the Pierce Promise right now is that if you are a, a, a city section kid uh, in the LAUSD area, um, you are now granted free tuition if you come to LA Pierce which is huge um, and you know right now uh, we talk about success and and if we build our success as a program on on winning a championship I think we failed these guys as athletes and student individuals and the last four years we've had a hundred percent continue education rate the last two years we've had a hundred percent academic eligibility and this is something that we've been really proud of and uh, and I think uh, colleges realize that when they recruit a Brahma they're gonna get somebody who's working hard Hard. And a lot of the stuff is, you know, that we build our foundation off of is from Ken Stanley, the court that we're playing on, uh, who, who started this program with the help of Marv Dunphy. Um, and basically it's, hey, you got to be early to be on time. Any job, big or small, do it right or don't do it at all. And, and when it comes down to it, Brahmas are rare people. You know, and, it's, um, Lance, it's, that's a great point. And, you know, to put that, what you just said into perspective, not every program is like that. Not every program has the 100% graduation rate or the matriculation rate. And, you know, a lot of what we do here at SoCal College Sports .com, it's, it's not just about calling the game. It's for exposure for student athletes. And we want to see them move on to the next level, and you do a fantastic job of that. Got Jeff Stoynoff up here in the booth. Had a chance to talk with the coaches in between the sets. Jeff, what would you find out? Well, for Coach Dick Blunt, obviously his team's got an uphill climb moving, from, moving on from here down two sets to none. Uh, a little concerned having some trouble passing the ball, transitioning into their offense, but mainly feels like we've had our opportunities, but have misfired on some shots, uh, let some opportunities get away, and that's what's really costing the El Camino Warriors right now. Meanwhile, for head coach Travis Turner, very confident on the sideline, but over and over again, keeps talking to his team, 
keep the pressure on them. They're passing well, they're transitioning well. One interesting strategical tidbit that he did offer to me, asked how it is that they've been able to do a pretty good job against Cesar Medina through, so far through two sets, and he did mention one thing that was interesting, very intentionally serving at Cesar Medina, Make trying to take him out of the offensive set, get them out of system, take them in a place where he doesn't really want to be. Feels that that's been very effective for them so far. Did you hear Travis Turner say sweep the leg in the huddle as well? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he needs to do that. Uh, I think I think exactly what Jeff was saying that we, uh, we talk about this, the dual responsibility slowing him down. If you're going to get us, man, you got to work for it. you got to pass this ball, you got to get outside, and you got to hit it, and you got to kill it. And uh, and really what they're trying to do is they're trying to overload on them. And, uh, and hey, it's going to come down to really, I think, again, we're looking at serving and passing. You know, once again, Elko hasn't been able to utilize those middles that they that they wanted and uh, I think if they can get them going this we're looking at a different set but what I love about volleyball guys what's the score it's 0-0 zero, zero zero, right zero. now 0-0 zero, zero. they might be up in sets but hey we got to take this one point at a time it's 0-0 zero, zero. here we go coach I, I, I got to tell you two players that stand out well actually three players that stand out for me for OCC JB Cam Jordan Hoppy and then how about Chase Moodhart he has been huge here today in terms of really facilitating uh, how consistent OCC has been, not only in the passing game, but the serving game as well. And what do we always talk about? A team that wins the serve and pass battle likely going to be your winner. Right there, Cesar Medina, 100%. off to a pretty good stop. I love that, 100%, exactly. He's doing a great job. He's going back there, he's hitting his serves, he's weathering the pass, and he's also doing a great job of, of getting in there, setting up uh, plays when the setter's out, and he's also digging some balls too. I mean, he is a human shovel, so uh, watch out for him. That's a tough serve, tough great float serve, serve great from serve Fang Gam. Ujic uh, puts it in play. He bailed him out right there. Huge hit by Matt. Uh, and I think that's exactly what Elko's got to do. they got to get OCC onto that platform. You see, when they can hit OCC passing on their platform, hey, good things happen. But that was just one heck of a great hit by Matt. Nice job. One all. Medina with a pretty good pass. There's that Villarreal middle. Out there in the we middle. go, Victor. There saw, it is. We saw that on Thursday, and we talked about it earlier. Santa Monica had a lot of success in the middle, and the way you do that is good passing. We've actually seen some pretty good passing from El Camino at times, and they've not really utilized the middle. I'd like to see more of that here in set three. Hoppy into the block, and Misa Alafua can't contain that too all. Again, once again, we're talking about, you know, setting up your strongest hitter versus maybe a smaller blocker. And right there, going to Hoppy on the back set against Medina's set versus going out to the outside against PJ's big block. There's that off speed on to Caesar. Going back to That's PJ. That's handled pretty well. Tuli Kihifo gets it down, but it's dug out nicely by Hoppy. Here's JB Cam with a rifle shot. And we're starting to see a little bit as a team, as, a, as the plays develop in each rotation, in this rotation, uh, we're also looking at Pedro. Pedro likes to go back to PJ, especially when Medina is uh, passing this ball. And tactically, Travis, I think, has picked this up as a coach, and uh, they're going to keep going after it. Hoppy we'll brings repeats. the hit, heat, and that has played very well. Medina can't get it over the tape. I, I, I think maybe he saw some feet below him. It looks like he was distracted on that shot. Yeah, you know, something they used in the last game is that they bring Medina around on that two ball. Um, but I, I don't know against OCC if that's going to be as effective, a little bit of a bigger block. Man, Hoppy is really it's rearing back. Chuli right Kihihifo has it blocked over. Carroll takes care of it. No, they go to Medina. Medina oh. with a nice swing down the line, but it's out. And it's a quick 3-0 run here that's, on Jordan Hoppy's serve. Yeah, Coach Timeout. Blunt. Coach Blunt Coach, and El Camino. Yeah, Coach Blunt right there. Uh, that's the last thing you want as a server to go back there at will and just be able to start blasting away. Um, and so he's got to use one of those timeouts to try to ice him, talk to his guys a little bit. I think, you know, he's like, hey, you guys don't need to second guess yourselves right here. Go out there and play your game. Go out there and hit. Go up there and find those edges. Keep going for it. Keep being aggressive. And, uh, and I think this is the type of, of volleyball that, you know, they're looking at their half to play right here. I think we're going to also look at uh, Pedro. I think this is a good rotation for them uh, to side out. They got Medina on the outside. You got PJ on the backside right here. And, uh, and you know, I think either one of those options are going to be good ones right now. And also, he's got one of his, his better uh, middles right now, Jaden. So, I mean, this really is a good rotation, I think, for Elko to get out of. But, again, it comes down serve and pass. So, let's see what happens here. Let's see if he takes a little bit off. Let's see if this timeout ices the server a little bit. And uh, we'll see if uh, what Jordan does here. So, a little gamesmanship here from Coach Blount to stop hey, the momentum. Got his off speed right there. Good Hoppy. coach's timeout. 
Off awesome. of the block, and Medina responds here out of the T.O. Great timeout there, Coach Blunt and uh, Nelson Rich. That's awesome. Hey, use that timeout. Hey, take that server a little bit out of rhythm and get that side out. Now P.J.'s going back. Let's see if he jumps or floats here. Let's go for that jumper. Hit it. P.J. with a big swing. Cam, perfect pass in the middle. Marriott with the kill. Once again, doing a great job, Colby. All on these tough servers, man, on PJ and also on uh, Cesar Medina, hitting those big jumpers. Passers are nailing passes, nice. and you're going to your middles, man. I love it. I absolutely love it. Pretty good serve. Isa Alafua finds the hardwood. That's a smart play by, by uh, Alafua. Yeah, by Jaden. That's great because what happened right there is he recognized, right, that the server had to play that zone. So Matt had to serve, and then he had to go and cover that zone. So he says, you know what? I'm going to get out of this. You guys are going to triple me. I'm just going to tip it right in there. If that uh, guy's watching his serve, I'm going to at least make him hit the floor. It's a great and he heady did play. Nice play. Medina rears back, and Hoppy with the perfect pass. Out of the back row, goes to work, and this is going to be look like a net violation. Got, here, a, got a net violation there, yeah. Called on Misa Lefua. Great play right there. Also looks like Travis is moving his passing lanes back uh, to on these on these jump servers. Most of these jump servers are landing in the last meter of the court, so he's moved that passing lane back. They're getting on that platform, getting some really nice passes here. Three-point lead for Coast. Here comes the big for Tuli Kipo. Saving it right there. Not a bad save. And that one hits the antenna from Cam. Yeah, Cam was going for that off-speed shot right there. That's worked for him in the past. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's thinking maybe I should have I think hit that's that. the first one that he's missed, though. So, I mean, you can't really blame him nah. going to that well. No, no, no. One it, more time. But it, it works. Go for it. I think he's just thinking, eh, I wish I didn't, make, I wish I didn't hit the antenna. I think you know? ne that's all. I think next time he's going to bring him the old number one. Yeah, he'll be all right. He's moving on. 7-5. Nisa Lafua on serve outside a five ball. That's a big swing, and it's in on the far side. And that's Moodhart, Zane Moodhart, first cousin of Chase. It's a nice hit by Zane. Zane's hitting a pretty good high ball uh, out of these rotations here, hitting that deep corner. That's a tough ball to block. He's going pretty much over it. Um, great side out by him. Nice job. Eight to five, Cam on serve. Good pass from Caesar outside. Fangam off there the block. Just a great job by Christopher. I like Fangam. I like his game. I like it. He's hitting a high ball. I like he hits edges. I like, you know, as a blocker, it's got to be one of the most frustrating things. Um, but he's doing a great job of hitting those edges, hitting those seams, mixing it up. Um, nice job, man. Keep going. Eight to six. Big swing in the middle. That's Hankus. Yeah, that was a nice play by Hankus right there. I also think that was a great read right there by PJ. He noticed that his hitter was out. He went actually and came in, and he helped Victor with that quick. Um, that a double block, but, you know, still uh, able to get the job done for OCC. Now here we go, Chase, bringing the thunder here. Woo! Point's going to go to OCC, so this is that run that they go on that they start to really hurt you with. Chase Moonhart, and this has been a rotation that has just been a, a, just a, kind of a sore a little bit for Elko. This row one for Elko when Chase is serving, this really is game changers when they're locking him in right now. Big serve, handled well by Carroll. Tuliki, Tuliki Hifo. Here comes a big fam, takes a little bit off of it. Outside, Hoppy, big swing, nice can't put cover. it down. That's a great cover there by P.J. Nice that one edge. off the block. What a point there from Elko. Great edge there, P.J. Out of way to find it, man. Out of way to get out of that rotation. Hey, that was that little bit of that short court game. He went up there, found that edge, and attacked that outside hand, went for the block out. I love it. Tuli Kihifo with a nice run there, a couple... Nice bright spots, big roof Ooh. job, but it's out. Oh, Look. wow. Can Look. we see the replay here, Matt? Oh, we're not going to be able to get the line shot. They're going to say that this one went out. We can't get there. That's a great battle at the net. Looked like that went straight down, but we can't see the line there on the replay. I think that was a good move by both of the hitters, and it was just kind of one of those, hey, it's an imperfect game. Sometimes yeah. it goes the way of the hitter, and that was just a nice attack on the line. I thought that was a great move by Caesar. Back to a four-point lead. That serve off of the tape. Quick serve or set in the middle. Bill Real can't put it down. Big? No. Big swing on the outside, near side. That's Uchik, but it's out. Once again, utilizing going after Caesar on that back set. Just missed that line. Yeah. Hey, I think we uh, 
We've got a, we, we got a special guest here in the booth. We've, we've been blessed with the, the presence of the voice himself. <laughs> the presence of greatness here in the booth. It's Kevin Barnhart. Kevin, how are you doing? Gentlemen, how are you? Congratulations on the Hall of Fame induction here at, uh, at the Brahma Dome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, always fun to come back here and see uh, Pierce College. Ken Stanley Court. Lance, this is something else. You guys going to host permanently or what? I don't know. You know, this is actually our third state championship, and if it was up to Georgia, uh, the, the director of championship short sports for uh, the uh, 3C2A, I think uh, I think he would have us host every single one. Uh, it's been a blessing. Um, it's been a lot of work, and, uh, it, you know, I, I think we've had some great battles here on Ken Stanley Court. So Speaking of great battles, a pretty good rally here. Medina yes. finally puts one down off of the block, 12-9, and uh, Kevin – you have seen all of this match here. Well, what are your thoughts here? I, I, up here in the booth, what we've said is, well, OCC is just that good, and they, can't, they every time that El Camino's try to make a run, they have an answer. Well, OCC is just too big. That's what it amounts to. And if you're a scrappy side like El Camino and all the success they've had here in the playoffs coming from that seven spot, you need to get more points like the very first one of this third set where they forced OCC into a tip, into a bad situation, and then transitioned and got a first ball transition kill. Because the longer rallies go, the height and the jumping ability, the advantage that OCC has is going to kill El Camino. So they need to kill balls, first ball right here, just like that, and stay out of long rallies and Mis get those easy transition points. Misa Lefua. And there it is, you're utilizing that middle attack right there. And that's a huge success that I think that they have to continue to bring. Well, for, for those that followed, and again, we touch on it one more time, SMC Santa Monica had some success with their middles on Thursday. And we'd like to see Jaden in the middle start to get on a run. Well, I noticed early in this match that OCC was very focused on that middle attack from El Camino. You can see three guys up. And anytime you see three guys up, you know it was a focus of the scouting report because there's never three guys up on the middle. <laughs> they know, hey, this is the guy that's going to get the ball on a perfect pass. And, and you would think that would open up the outside a little bit, but Cesar Medina has been relatively quiet outside of a couple bright spots. Fangam near side, trying to put it down off of the block. Or check and that. That just goes off of you, Jake. Yeah, and I think, and I think again, that what Travis is doing is he's slowing down Caesar. I'm going to serve him every ball. We're going to tip every ball. We're going to make him block every ball. I mean, they're really trying to overload him as much as he can, and uh, and it's working. The outside blockers for, for OCC have been extremely effective as well. When El Camino did go to the outside, you saw a lot of stuffs and a lot of touches, and that frustrated El Camino into some more errors. Big yeah. swing on the far side, that's Zane Moodhart. Yeah, it's the one thing that uh, hitters hate, hitters hate hands. And the more hands you can put up on these guys, the more you start frustrating, the more you start having them second guess, tipping, uh, making errors, just hitting, the, hitting those uncomfortable shots here. And I think Travis has done a nice job with that. Solution for that as a hitter is just don't see him. I never <laughs> saw the block. I had no idea where the block was till I was playing on the national team. Or you just hit over it, right? Exactly. Just hit over it. It doesn't right? matter that you're there. <laughs> Big swing from Fangam. Can't get over the top of the tape. And the point goes to OCC. Now a five-point lead here in set three. They're up two to none. Yeah, the move needs to be now for El Camino. I like the timeout called by El Camino. And you really need to make a move because you can't let this team, OCC, the way they've been playing, their history this year, you can't let them get to 20 and you're not within a couple of points because it is going to be over. The lone blemish on their schedule was avenged in the semifinal versus SMC, and, man, uh, OCC just rolling on all cylinders right now. El Camino coming in is probably the hottest team in the state. But right now, OCC looking like they are too good. And, Kevin, who's the player that's really stood out to you tonight? Justin Cam, number 20. Uh, the first time he hit the ball, and, oh, who's that kid? Yeah. So I texted Lance up here and said, well, he's going to where's UC he going? Island. Yeah, he's going to UC Irvine. <laughs> that would be a good pickup for Irvine. That's, uh, that's also another Brahma who's picking up, uh, who, who's uh, picking him up, So that's, which is kind of awesome. So, yeah. David <laughs> Niffen, head coach down there at UC Irvine. A lot of Brahmas. Actually, I was saying earlier, looking around this gym, going, if someone told you that three Olympians and two medalists, not myself, came from this gym, you'd be a little amazed, and it's a true story. <laughs> Riley Salmon, Bob Samuelson. And speaking of JB Cam, he's on the service line, takes a little bit off of it, and that one put down nicely by Villarreal. I thought, I thought it kind of funny that this last Olympics, you on the mic, and then, you know, we had a lot of Brahmas. We had, uh, uh, for, for the women's side, you had uh, uh, David uh, Hunt, you also had Marv, and then you also had Tom Black, and then we had Karch cry, and it's like, hey, Karch, no one's perfect, man, you know? <laughs> 16 to 12. Uh, junior college women too much for him. Hoppy yeah. with a rifle shot. Great shot by Hoppy. 
I'll tell you what else El Camino needs right now is next time Cesar Medina gets back to the line, he needs to rip off a couple of aces, a couple of easy points, because oh. that's going to be right around the 20-point mark and as a, this goes. And that's a great call because he did get four, a plus four for them uh, earlier on. And again, these matchups here have actually stayed consistent from every set. Big so swing. Each set, the, the, the lineup has not changed for either side of them. So these players are really starting to become familiar with what they need to do in each one. And, uh, and I think the setters are doing a nice job of picking it apart on OCC. Tuli Kihihipo. Well, one thing uh, that's a little different this year, outside of the setup and the multiple cameras, big hit on the joust ball there from Tuli Kihihipo. Oh the alphabet is well represented uh, in the names. <laughs> Always makes it rough for the uh, for the play-by-play -play and the color guy, but yeah. we're managing. We're yep. doing what we can. El Camino's providing enough vowels <laughs> for both sides. <laughs> Outside, Hoppy rises up, goes angle. That's a terrific Great shot from shot. Jordan Hoppy. Wow! Uh, and the libero has to see that. You as a libero have to see that and fire up inside. You got to see that play. Jason Carroll needed to make a read before the ball was contacted, not after. Too much watching, not enough playing. Well, that was a well-struck ball, and once once he hits it with that perfection, you're not going to get it up. Not a lot of margin for error. OCC serving with a four-point lead. We are in set three, the men's volleyball championship game. Nice joust ball by PJ right there. Just push, feel the block. Don't feel the block. Throw it to the floor. Feel the block. Push that thing out to the antenna right there. Here's what El Camino needs. They need to be within two when their guy Medina steps back to serve. That's what they need, and that would be a pretty good situation. Carroll, nice serve, handled well by Cam. Uchik tries to put it down. It gets tipped off of the block. Campos now near side. Medina, big swing, dug out. Comes Great at OCC's ball. defense, too. They've made some nice plays throughout. Back set, PJ. Great matchups right there. PJ, row two, row three. Now he's going to go back, I think, to serve here. Nope, Libero's still serving. That was a good plus one by them. Um, I, I think that was a great set, great set in riding these rotations to the opposite here. El Camino's creeping. Tuli Kihihifo. Big set in the middle. Marriott, and he has been huge today for Orange Coast. Hey, that's a good reaction by the El Camino block. That's just a well-executed play, and sometimes you give your opponent a little clap, clap, go on back and see what you can do in the next play. Hoppy now to serve, and he has had a rifle shot here in set three on his serve. Takes a little bit off of it that time. Near side, Medina rises up off of the block, dug out. Here comes Tuli Kihihifo, and that's in. Another great shot right there by Caesar, hitting his favorite shot, that deep cross court. Hey, got a little bit of an overpass there, and PJ capitalized on there. Let's see if PJ goes back for the jump serve or if he goes with the float. Going with the float. Tough one to deal with, handled pretty well by OCC. Cam rises up, JB Cam. Man. A little X1 play. I like that play. Come flying in, make it look like you're going to stay out left. Last second, close inside. You're right. Yeah, they the run the X1 is an X exclamation point. 20 to 17. And I think Colby sets that up nicely. He usually doesn't run that until about 20 points. Pretty good pass here from Medina. Near side. They're making him work. Can't get that one great down. Dig down the line. Bump set from Cam. Roll shot from Ujic. Campos goes back to Medina, tries to go angle, and that's just a great job by Cesar Medina using all of the court. You're doing a nice job of taking Cesar's favorite shot away on that first tempo, that cross court hitting down the line. Where are we right now? Oh, here it is. Two points. No Shadamas. Here see we it. are. He's close <laughs> enough. He needs a couple, but this is a good spot for El Camino. You have to like where you're at here. Warriors trying to battle back in set three after they drop both sets one and two. Medina off the top of the tape, handled well by Hoppy. Ujic puts it away. Big Huge side, out, side out. Huge side out. First ball side out. I thought it was a great serve by Caesar. Knocked him off the net. Couldn't utilize the middle right there. And uh, good play by OCC. Still lots of life for the Warriors, though. They yeah. need to keep siding out first ball, keep giving themselves a chance to get closer. Those side out plus ones here. Fangam rises up. Nice job. Flame Good game. response there from the Warriors. And a nice selection on the set. Perfect pass. Couple of OCC blockers going with the middle. Go to the outside. Huge credit to the quarterback on that play. See Jaden here. Let's see him put in this nice jump float here. Put some movement on here and see if he can get OCC on their platform. Yeah, the impressive service game versus the defending state champs. There we go. Great serve. One. There it is. Right on cue. Nice. We needed that. Misa Alefua with the go. ace. Yeah, that one's the library. 
you could read the right on the ball, read anything you want, how much poundage, <laughs> whoever made it, the commissioner, whatever you needed on that one. The signature, you could forge it if you wanted to. 21-20, the one. slimmest of margins for OCC. Oh. And Nisa Alafua goes right into the twine. Oh. I don't know if that's a case of you're just trying to make it more difficult on the next play, get another ace. Hey, all you needed was as good as the last one, and what you really needed was in. Yeah, pressure's on the passer right there. Keep it on him. 22-20, Coast three points away from a state title here in 2017. J.B. Cam, player of the match thus far for Coast. Serving, tough float. Looking for the hardwood, they're not going to find it. It's a little tight joust ball here. Joust ball, tough there one, OCC. The foot. Here comes the big roll shot from Cam, and he dials up another kill, and J.B. Cam can smell the MVP. As many big plays as we've seen Cam and others in OCC make, huge swings from the service line at the net, they've made a lot of small plays, good plays. That cover was one of them. We call it keeping oh. it in a battle right there. Well, a lot of times it's the little things. And OCC has done the big things and the little things better than El Camino. And one of the reasons why they're looking at a sweep right here. 23-20, Fangam rises up for the kill. Do the Warriors stay alive? I think, Need to go on a run right here. I think right now... I'm setting Fangam as many balls as I can. He's getting the job done front row. I go short in front of the server or in front of the left passer right now. Yeah, that's Hoppy. I go short right in front of him. I go there right at him or deep right to him. Either or, let's see what he's got to do. Hoppy rises Ooh, up. Big Whoa. play. Yeah, see, so I'd have taken him short, get him out of his approach. There, he was still in rhythm. I like that you served him, but you left him in rhythm. You're right. He did have a lot of runway to get that four-step approach coming in right there. State championship point here for Orange Coast. Chase Moodhart. Big serve. Carroll gets it up. Medina has it blocked back over, but not down. Here comes a free ball. OCC can end it right here. Outside, they go to Hoppy. Hoppy puts it away. OCC, your champion here in the 3C2A for 2017. Well, the grit was there for El Camino. The execution a little off in OCC, the top team in the state for a reason. And uh, Kevin, really appreciate you coming up here in the booth. And uh, Thanks for having me. Yeah, anytime. You, you can walk in off the street Congratulations. whenever thanks, man. Yeah, on a volleyball broadcast. Fans, so. We really appreciate it. Lance Walker, I know you're uh, behind the whole thing, so thanks very much. Right, I appreciate you, it. It was no, an honor. It was Absolute honor. It was voted in, and what better place than on Ken Stanley Court, you know, kind of where you not, – not that you started here. I mean, you did come in from the Midwest, but this is definitely a great stepping stone, I think, for you and onto bigger and greater things. Oh, so this is, this is definitely where it started, and I'm only bummed that Ken wasn't here tonight. So if he's watching, Big Daddy, thanks. There you go. <laughs> Be back in a moment here on SoCalCollegeSports.com with the MVP. Don't go anywhere.
About to go down on the floor to Coach Travis Turner, head coach for Orange Coast, and Jeff Stoinoff. Take it away, Jeffrey. Coach, seven seed, no seven seed. You knew these guys were going to be tough. You said it beforehand. Top two teams in the state here down to the championship, and you guys were able to get it done in straight sets there. Uh, talk about what you guys were able to do. You know, I just think we're on a mission from the beginning of the year, and uh, coaches always say that's kind of corny, but it's true. We, we were we wanted this thing bad, and uh, you know, wanting it's not enough. You got to go get it. And I think tonight they went and got it. Yeah, st strategically, I know that Medina was really a key for them. Yeah. You guys were very concerned. You did a fantastic job, really did a great job seemingly of taking them out of what they want to do with him. Talk about what you were able to do there. You know, I think our serving was key. I mean, Moodhart served the crap out of the ball, and I thought Hoppy obviously served well, and then uh, our float servers put the ball in Medina, and that was the plan. Uh, we slowed him down. We didn't stop him. No one's going to stop that kid. He's an well, animal. If I keep going here, I'm going to miss the trophy presentation. <laughs> okay. I can't be responsible for no that. No so, Thank thanks, so Coach. Much. Congratulations. Thank All right. Back to you guys. 25-21 in set three. It's a 3-0 sweep for the state championship here for Orange Coast in 2017. Again, special thanks to Olympic color commentator for men's volleyball and former Olympian Kevin Barnhart joining us on the broadcast in set three. And, of course, Lance Skywalker, the head coach here at L.A. Pierce. Happy you joined us for the final here in 2017 for men's volleyball. Live from Ken Stanley Court on the campus of L.A. Pierce College, Mike Zapata, Jeff Stoyanoff, Emery Johnson, Matt Henson, Jorge Zapata, the entire SoCalCollegeSports.com crew. Remember, we will have softball, the championships up at Bakersfield later on in May, and then Memorial Day weekend, it'll be the baseball championships from Fresno. It's Jeff Stoyanoff joins me in the booth. Jeff, I just saw you down there. You're like Batman up here. Well, I'm still out of breath, so I'm, I was hoping for a little <laughs> bit longer introduction. Uh, Michael, about to name Jordan Hoppy as the uh, MVP. Jordan Hoppy. Yeah. Not JV Cam. I believe it was Hoppy. They, they talked about both. Okay, so. No, no. That, that, if you've been told something different, I thought down on the floor they went to uh, Coach Turner, and he did mention both of them. Either way, we do want to get a word with Jordan Hoppy. We're going to bring him up here. Uh, after they do the trophy presentation. We'll grab him and uh, have a quick word with Hoppy uh, before we sign off here today as Orange Coast uh, takes the championship here in the 3C2A. Just a wonderful performance really throughout the year. They only lost one game that came to Santa Monica, and as we said earlier, that was avenged in the semifinal final four on Thursday in semifinal number two. Orange, Orange Coast, the runner-up last year, eventually succumbing to Long Beach City. Long Beach City dispatched in the semis by El Camino. And El Camino, you know, we talked about how they came in with a chip on their shoulder, uh, and the chip just wasn't enough here in the final. OCC just absolutely loaded at the pins. Uh, very good as far as their libero. Chase Moodhart was fantastic, as Coach Turner said in the postgame, serving the ball and really facilitating, facilitating the continuity of success for Orange Coast really have to give a shout out to, to the job that coach Dick Blunt for El Camino did this year 11 and 7 coming in overall and they felt they were a little slighted coming in as far as the, their seeding they came in as the number 7 seed out of the 8 teams that made the playoffs in the 3C2A for men's volleyball and uh, they came in on a mission in the quarters they dispatch the number 2 team in the state in IVC and then it was a clean sweep on Thursday of Long Beach City. A lot of people came up to me afterwards saying, man, I did not expect that. Well, they, they, tried, to, they tried to extend the run here for Cinderella, but midnight proved to be OCC. 25-21 in set three, and it's a 3-0 sweep for the Pirates. Back in a moment with Jordan Hoppy for Orange Coast in just a bit here on SoCal College Sports.
remember, everyone, you can catch this broadcast and the re-airing of it on YouTube. You can go to our channel, SoCal College Sports 1. This will be archived to YouTube for post-live viewing. If you have any comments or thoughts or just like to give us a little shout out here at SoCalCollegeSports.com, you can hit us up on Twitter at SoCalCollegeSPO. Also, feel free to email us at SoCalCollegeSports at Hotmail.com, SoCalCollegeSports at Gmail.com. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube, SoCal College Sports 1. OCC in the finals in the championship game, back-to-back years. They come up short last year. They come away with a win here in 2017. The Pirates are your champion in the 3C2 way. OCC, your champion here in 2017, MVP in 2017 for men's volleyball, Jordan Hoppy And, Jordan, what a terrific performance, not only on Thursday, but, of course, in the final. Thank you. I greatly appreciate it. Can you talk about the point of emphasis coming into this match? You know that El Camino was probably the hottest team in the state coming in, a very gritty bunch, a team playing with a chip on their shoulder. What did you do to kind of t keep them at bay? Well, our coaches just gave us a great game plan of things we needed to execute in order to be successful against this team. We, uh, we watched their match against Long Beach, and we just were scouting them. And we, we, we created a list of things that if we did well, we were going to be successful. Nice. Uh, so, Jordan Hoppy, what are you doing next season? Wh wh where are you signed up? Because there's probably some college coaches watching right now that want to add to their ranks. i got to tell you, adding Jordan Hoppy would probably be pretty good for their brand. Right. Um, next season, I'm going to be focusing on school at OCC, finishing up some classes. Nice. And then we'll take it from there. Right on. Right. Well, Jordan, uh, I really appreciate the time. Anybody you want to give a shout-out to? Friends, family, maybe watching back at home? Um, they can always rewatch the broadcast, yeah. so feel free to shout-out to mom and dad, even if they're here. Uh, my mom, Debbie, Debbie Hoppy, and then <laughs> my dad, Dave, who flew out here um, all the way from Wisconsin. So Very good, from Wisconsin. So yep. what are you, are you a Packers guy? I'm a big Packers fan. So. Okay, all right. Hey, maybe Aaron, Wa maybe Aaron Rodgers catches this broadcast, uh, and uh, he, he, he sends you a little shout-out your way. 25-21 yeah. in set three. It's a 3-0 sweep for OCC over El Camino in the men's final for volleyball in the 3C2A. Thank you for joining us, everybody. A special thanks, of course, to Lance Skywalker here at L.A. Pierce, head men's volleyball coach for the Brahmas.
for Emory Johnson, for Matt Henson, for Jeff Stoinoff, Jorge Zepeda, Mike Zepeda signing off. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you later in May for softball and baseball. Take care.